Alright, what up? This is Jay Dragon, and I'd like to welcome you to the Dragon Den. You know, it's been a while. We're going to get this stuff done. Um, Basically, I'm just re-gluing these uh, little kids' shoes, and I'm using straight-up acetone out of the can. I put it in the bottle because that's the way I like to do it, and pumping it, and that um, pump action, it puts the right amount of uh, acetone on your... Uh, cotton balls, cotton swabs, or whatever you're using in the moment, and it works out really good. I'm using a heat gun. I'm using some erasers cut up a little bit in the cubes, and I'm going to also use cotton balls and some, uh, also we're going to use some Q-tips, uh, as I forgot to yeah. mention, and I just sit right there and came back and did that, and um, we're going to use them in acetone you know we're going to get rid of all the factory setted um glue that way we can sit right there and just basically get everything set up the way we want it to that way we won't have no problems when we sit right there and put this um bar super cement on it and if you do it right and you put it on there and let it dry up and go at it with um the uh acetone and stuff and then you put the new um thing and let it dry up on the uh, shoe and then come back with a heat gun heat it up this works perfectly after you do this right like that i've had some troubles with it back in the past i had to practice it a couple of times before i got used to it it works out well the more you do it the more you practice this the better you get at it i had to uh, sit right there and clip off some of the uh glue that got stuck on it and re went over it with it again and basically when you do this kind of um project trying to fix these shoes for somebody or the person that you wanted them for it usually works out if you practice it ahead of time i had video files and stuff and uh now i can't find them my old computer stopped on me and that's one of the reasons why I haven't been able to help y'all out or give y'all any information lately, but I've been trying to do it on my phone and learn how to do it. And I got a new computer, but I got to get a uh, HDMI video card. Yes. And then um, basically, we're just going to get back to this and I'm going to talk about uh, the glue I used. I just taped up the side so that when I put the new glue on it, that I will know where it's at and it holds up well. And I just basically clipped it off the uh, tape so I could sit right there and find the areas. Put the um, bottom part of the shoe back on there so I could sit right there and find the areas where the uh, shoe goes at. And basically just went and did that. I mean, you can use certain type of tape. You can also get it from uh, Walmart's or um, Michael's. Sometimes it's best to get one that don't give you much residue so just be careful on ones look at them read them and all that stuff so i've had this little jar so i sit right there and use it to spread out all the glue on it this stuff works perfectly well i haven't had any trouble with it so i will let it dry for like five minutes then reheat it up which seems to work out perfectly but i really just did this from one day to the next day so i actually let it dry from the next day so i used a little brush to sit right there and get into the um little pockets which i really didn't need to do but i wanted to make sure that the glue was all over the place and i'm just sitting right here i'm taking the tape off which was a little tough because the glue kind of uh glued some of the tape down itself and well anyway it still turns out well and the shoe looks nice for a little shoe for practice to get better on and i hope y'all like it i mean the i think it looks good if y'all think it looks good give it a thumbs up give it a like do all that youtube stuff we love to do just like always and hopefully i get it posted out pretty soon of this video and y'all will like it and <laughs> the tape is really just struggling with it huh it's either sitting right there having given me a hard time to come off or it's sitting right there and having a hard time of <laughs> getting off my hand. But anyway, what we're going to do after that is um, 
grab the heat gun and go after and heat up everything. And this is one of the shoes that I did before ahead of time. And it had this little um, uh, thing at the back that would uh, make it look like he's moving. So um, that worked out pretty well to get that glued onto it. I had to heat up the area, but I didn't want to heat up the thing because I was afraid it would mess it up and stuck it back onto. But I'm thinking about maybe taking a picture and painting over the little hole or something. Or just doing something that I could sit right there and mess with and put on there and have it look somewhat similar, but without the moving of the character. And that's basically what I got so far. I think the shoe looks better than it did. I cleaned it up. I fixed it. And that glue, it just came off so easily. If I had the other footage for it, I would sit right there and show it to you when I sit right there and pulled the shoes apart. But I see if I could find it. I have to, the heart of um, um, all those stuff. And I think it'll look good. I used the acetone, like I said, from the big can, the uh, most powerful. I did not use that um, weak uh, fingernail polish acetone. We used a strong one to get rid of glue. You use a lighter one to go on the shoes because that's it. It helps out with better with getting the, um, the um, paint off on the shoe if you're going to paint it or something like that. I would go with like the fingernail polish remover for that, but you don't always. I mean, you might want to go lighter sometimes when it comes to your um, old shoes because... Like, uh, I would go with like a 90% alcohol, 92 or 91, but somewhere in that would also do it with, for old shoes because most of the finish probably sit right there and just faded off over time. And sometimes you could sit right there and take that stuff off so easier. So that's just basically all the information I got for you now. I'm going to try and do some more. So if you would give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff you love to do. And we'll have the rest of this on that video. And I appreciate you for watching. Thank you.